Shaker oval boxes are a great woodworking project, and it's no wonder. They're simple, elegant, easy to make, and they don't take up a lot of materials. And for woodworkers who want to learn about wood bending, shaker oval boxes are a great way to get started. Traditionally, these 16th of an inch thick, straight grain box sides were bent with hot water. And that's the method I'll demonstrate. But keep in mind, you could just as easily do it with steam. Now to get started, you'll need some sort of trough for heating the water. Just be sure it's made from either copper or galvanized steel to prevent staining of the wood. You'll also need a pair of electric hot plates, some copper tacks, a bending form, a pair of shapers to hold the form during drying, and this shop made anvil, which is nothing more than a piece of galvanized pipe that's been bolted to a wood block. Begin by heating distilled water to at least 180 degrees. Tap water could contain minerals that would discolor your wood. Once the water's up to temperature, drop your box side in and let it soften up for five to 10 minutes. Now bend the thin band around the form. While holding the side in place, make a registration mark on the top and bottom edges of the box side. You'll need to take the band off the form for the next step, so these marks are really important. With the band held over your shop made anvil, tack the box together. The end of the tacks will mushroom out as you tap against the pipe, making a perfect rivet joint. Place one shaper from the top and one from the bottom and allow the band to dry for a few days. The shapers ensure that the box keeps its oval form throughout the drying process. Now the top is made just like the bottom, except instead of bending it over the core, you're going to bend it over the box while it's still on the shapers. For a complete tutorial on how to build a shaker box from start to finish, be sure to read Pete Baxter's article in Fine Woodworking number 247.